Hey you guys, how are you? I am sitting in my room here at the Hummingbird Eco Retreat Center where I am currently living and working. I'm doing some work with them. I'm gonna actually step over here because I think the lighting's a little bit better. Um, I just wanted to check in with you guys because yesterday I talked about this 21 days, you know, of where I'll be gonna be blogging consecutively on my blog and how, you know, there's a big transformation really happening on the planet on the 28th of October and you know it's something that I think we've all been feeling you know I don't know about you but um, you know just there's just ways in which that I've been pushed to really stretch beyond my comfort zones and really face things that I may never have faced um, except for that I was being forced basically by a power that's unexplainable or a power greater than myself to really take a look at certain aspects of myself, of my personality, of my behaviors, of my life, of the way I live my life, of the choices that I make, of of the things that I choose to make a priority, of the relationships that I choose to have in my life. And I, I feel like, you know, so many of us are being faced with this, you know, um, just really having to go through these situations and emotions and um, feelings of, you know, um, really confronting our deepest, darkest fears. And that's just where we are right now. Our bodies are literally energetically changing in the way that we think and life as we know it is, is, is literally changing every single minute. And whether you're conscious of that or not, um, I think if you really check in with yourself and really kind of ask yourself, you know, you know, and you take a look back, you know, in this past year or, or few months or, or even few weeks or whatever, and you can kind of probably see that like, you know, things are definitely much different than they once were. And we're all so much more aware of certain things and certain issues. And everybody seems to be really coming together to like really make this shift happen. And um, I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm just at this retreat center and it just makes me think so much. You know, I'm, I'm in Australia in the Mornington Peninsula, so far away from everything that I've ever known. And um, while at the same time, I feel so connected to everything I've ever known in a way that I have always longed for and I've always dreamed of. And I just feel so much gratitude, even for the fear and even for the days where I, I get really caught up in like this vast unknown and, and not knowing or understanding like where this is all taking me and 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 you know there's this kind of frustration or this um, this feeling that comes along with that of like you know you want to know now and you want to figure it all out while at the same time you know knowing that you have to just let go and you have to just be where you are and you have to allow things to unfold and all we can ever really do um, is just tune in with our heart, check in with ourselves and and constantly be living from that place rather than from the headspace of trying to figure things out because that just doesn't work. Um, you know, I if I had known I was going to be here a few months ago, I would have just really thought you were joking. I mean, the way in which I've ended up where I am right now is really unexplainable. I mean, it's just synchronicity and divine intervention and I am and just really blown away and I know that I'm here for a reason and um, you know this place where I'm working is where we're, we're really helping create a space for people to do exactly what I'm talking about to come and remember who they really are and really connect with what's important to them um, I just want to give you a little bit of a tour here if you see I'm not the best uh, camera person on an iPhone but if you see here this is like my favorite little window in my room and you can kind of see like the outdoor like, I'm just, like, on this 72 acres of, like, national trust land. It's, like, spiritual, sacred lands to um, the indigenous people of Australia, you know, the aborigines, the aboriginals. And um, this entire retreat center where I am, am living is all sustainable, and it was already, like, kind of like an accommodation before this, and they tore it apart and used all the materials from the beds and, and shelves and things that they, um, you know, were basically going to redesign, and they used all the materials from those things to make the new things, and so everything here is um, just completely recycled, and, um, you know, that's just kind of where we're at, you know, just really... Um, as individuals but really as a collective consciousness is there's just really no tolerance for waste anymore you know no tolerance and, and and things like you know negative thinking and and um you know criticizing others and and comparing and competing and there's just there's just no space for that it's just a waste of time it's just a waste of energy you know it's like 
um, you know, there's really, really um, no room for, for anything but love and, and, and to work through everything that gets in your way of, of fully experiencing love for yourself and for others and from fully expressing that, you know, in whatever way is unique to you. We all have our own unique way of expressing and sharing love and it's beautiful regardless. So um, anyways, I just wanted to check in. It's day number two of the 21 day process I talked to you yesterday about that I have put up on my blog and you can go to that article. It's called Prepare for Transformation, 21 Days of Blogging and that's at www.erinlanahanmethod.com. I really hope you guys join me on this journey. It's such a beautiful one and I just want you to come with me and experience more bliss and more peace and joy and abundance and just amazing, amazing moments um, that really are available if we shift into that place within ourselves. And as the wars within us come to an end, as we find more inner peace, so too will the world around us and the wars will come to an end and um, we can all just finally experience what we came here to experience, which is complete and total oneness. So thank you so much for watching. I send you so much love and so much blessings. As always, I am holding the space for you, for your personal development, for your growth, for your expansion, for you to really step into everything that I know that you already are. You just might not know it. So um, goodbye from the Mornington Peninsula, um, Australia. I will, um, I will be back, so stay tuned. Thanks. Bye.